here's the pattern. So first, he's sort of identifying the problem. Okay, what's the issue here? And then it's really fascinating to watch him in verses 10 through 12. He's going to do anything he can to learn from others, right? He actually goes to King Mosiah and like maybe a good stake president with a bishop says, yeah. he says, that's a really great question. I'll be fascinated to hear what the Lord tells you on that, <laughs> that's you know? Right, that's right. <laughs> and and uh, King Mosiah sends him back to the Lord. And then after he studied it out, the revelation comes in powerful ways. Then the last two pieces that you can see that what the angel teaches him, then in verse 33, that revelation ends and look at verse 33, it came to pass when Alma had heard these words, he wrote them down. Joseph Smith says, we've gotten ourselves into bad situations at times because God has taught us things and we have not written them down. We haven't honored them enough. We haven't appreciated them enough. Okay, so if I'm following you, correct, following you correctly, here's the pattern. So he, he goes to trust the sources for, for help and then he pours out his heart. He prays, receives that revelation in whatever way that it comes, writes it down and then acts on the things that he's written down. That seems like a pretty solid, it's a pretty solid, solid pattern. pattern. Yeah, it yeah. works every time, right? Well, I would love to hear from the, the audience on how have you followed a similar pattern during a troubled time in your life? Tasha. I remember when I felt like I didn't have a manual and I needed <laughs> something that would help me with my daughter. And I realized I don't have a manual, but I have inspiration and I have the scriptures. And I also felt like more inspiration would come if I would go and listen to the Lord. And I went to my nearest temple as often as possible and just continued to listen and listen. And I actually felt like there was a manual and it was inspired every day. And I knew what to do. So I would go and I would write down the inspiration each day after praying and reading the scriptures and really trying to listen. And I felt like the situation with my sweet, sweet daughter was hopeless. I really did. But I thought if there's anything I can do, at least I can listen. And then I will do whatever I'm inspired to do that day. And so literally one thing every single day and she came around and it took a few years and I felt like, wow, God is really there to help us and he is there too. And we do have a manual, he does inspire us.